blenders. These are standalone blenders um, that we use, but they also use them um, in the NICU for uh, babies that need oxygen. So you're gonna see blenders a lot. This actually, you'll talk about more when we talk about oxygen systems, but these are actually set up to be um, heated high flow nasal cannulas, amongst some other things. So the blender takes the air and the O2 from the wall and will be able to set a precise FiO2. It has a thing inside that can check it. So, <coughs> excuse me. I can take this and turn it to whatever FiO2 I want. And the way we check this is we get an oxygen analyzer, which we'll talk about a different day. Um, and we can double check the FiO2. So you'll see, so right now I have it set at 60%. And then this flow meter, I would turn on. So right now I have it on whatever. And so my patient is getting a certain flow at 60%. Because that's what, that's what it does. It, it uses however much oxygen it needs, how much air it needs to give you the FiO2 that you want. As opposed to just hooking this up to a flow meter and turning it on too. So this gives a precise FiO2, so you'll learn that this is a high flow system because we can meet the demands of our patient. So the reason, so unhook, well not you, Victoria, unhook the oxygen. It alarms when one of the two gas sources is not connected. So go ahead, put it back together. Other way. Other way. Now it stops because it alarms because it can't work without air and O2 together. So a common troubleshooting question you'll see, um, somebody calls you to check the blender because it's making a high pitch noise, one of your gases, either one has been disconnected. So that's why it alarms when you turn it on. So it's easy if you just hook them into the, at the same time, then it won't make the noise. Especially in the NICU, we don't want to scare the babies or the moms. <laughs> so that's what a blender is. And then up front, I have a concentrator.